Hey, what's up? It's NFT Crypto Keys. And I want to take you on a tour of my early video NFTs and show you my version of video NFT art, as well as all of my 3D lockers. I had a lot of fun making my 3D lockers, so I hope you enjoy and I hope it inspires you to create something similar. Um, I think of NFTs as time capsules, so you'll see that along the way and why I decided to save several of the images that I saved. Hey, it's NFT Crypto Keys and I'm back. And this is the cover image to NFT Muhammad Ali. So this is actually one of my really early NFTs. I created this one March 9th, 2021. I put it as a trait in the description, but also to see how old any NFT is, scroll down to the transactions and go to the first one where it's minted and hover over the date and it will tell you the exact date and time that that NFT was minted onto the blockchain. So this is a little over two minute NFT that I edited down. Um, at the time the only minting phases for free or that were open without being curated was Rarible and they had about a 29 to 30 megabyte limit which was very difficult but um, the good thing about that is every NFT minted back then um, automatically had frozen data and it wasn't an extra transaction. So back then, this is before all of the companies and brands came in. So I was just experimenting and creating what I figured out how I could create something that I thought would last. There were no rules or copyright infringement laws at the time. So this NFT is before all of that. It is a two minute clip that I edited down of some of his greatest knockouts. And this is the 3D voxel downloadable file that I added to the NFT. I recreated a boxing ring and I put George Foreman and Muhammad Ali in it because I think for sure that's one of his biggest, uh, most famous fights in history. There's George Foreman. Um, wearing the shorts that he was wearing in that fight and there's Muhammad Ali and his original um, red and white shorts with his Everlast logo he was very famous and popular for wearing everything Everlast and here are a signed pair of his boots um, that's his signature of course on his Everlast boots and there's a really famous quote I am the greatest. Not only do I knock him out, I picked the round. And there's a picture of him with his belt. And I thought this was a really interesting picture. Um, I like this picture a lot. So I actually had to look it up and see where it came from and know the history of that picture. And this is the history of that picture. It was an Esquire magazine cover in 1968 labeled The Passion of Muhammad Ali. It's usually hard to pinpoint the exact moment a bright star goes supernova, but Muhammad Ali did that very thing in April 1968, thanks in large part to an Esquire magazine's cover of the world's most famous and controversial athlete, dressed as Saint Sebastian, the third century Christian martyr. Um, the second paragraph talks about how he was banned from boxing for four years from age 25 to 29 because he refused to be drafted into the Vietnam War. Ali was surely suffering the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, as Shakespeare had written. He certainly knew his Hamlet and knew how to make a legend become more legendary. And on this side, on the top and bottom, our very famous knockout picture, and in the middle is more of his handwriting and a handwritten letter. And here's a close-up of Foreman and Muhammad Ali forever squared off in this 3D locker. And another famous quote, Don't count the days, make the days count, Muhammad Ali. And if you go level with the ring, his belt pops on and off at the top, which I thought was pretty neat, so I left it. Alright, that wraps it up for this NFT. Um, thanks for watching.